How we doing everybody? This is That R Nerd back at it again with another R tutorial here. Uh, today's tutorial is going to cover chi squared tests of independence in R. Uh, so to illustrate this, I have a little dummy example here. Uh, this is what a lot of chi squared tests look like, right? You have your table, you have a couple rows and a couple columns, uh, and you're going to have your data in the middle, some column totals, some row totals. Yeah, what we need to do is we need to input this matrix into R and run the chi-squared test on it. So we'll make a matrix and we'll call it X here. And we'll say into X, we're gonna put a matrix and then we're gonna need to put some data in here. So uh, the way data is read in R is that everything's in terms of vectors. Uh, so with the way we're gonna have to read it in here is we go uh, top to bottom top to bottom, top to bottom, as opposed to what you would maybe think you should do, which is, you know, do the rows like that, like the way we read, I guess. Um, but in matrix, or uh, within R, to make the matrix, we're gonna have to go top to bottom with all these. So we'll start with 24 and 289. So say 24, 289, 9, 100, 13, 565. We're also gonna need to specify how many rows here so that R knows uh, how we want this matrix to look. So say the number of rows is equal to two and read that in. And then you can press view with a capital V and we wanna view our X matrix. And so this should look exactly like how the other one does. We got 24, 289, we got nine and 100 and we have 13 and 565. Uh, so perfect, we got it run in, uh, read in real well, I guess here. Uh, so that's the hard part, making sure your matrix is read and good. Uh, then you just simply call the chi-square test, chi-square.test, and we just put our, our X matrix that we just made in there and run it. And down in our output, we'll see that our chi-squared is equal to 17.313. We got degrees of freedom equal to two, and we have a p-value of equal to really small, 0 0.0001. So for this example, we would reject our null and we'd say that uh, flu and vaccines are dependent, uh, which makes sense. And we can check our answer here. Uh, they got a chi-squared of 17.33 and degrees of freedom equal to two, the p-value of less than 1%. Uh, so looks like it worked out perfectly here. Uh, hopefully this video was of some help to you. If it was, I'd appreciate a uh, drop on that, a chi-squared drop on that like button so that other people can see it. If you want more R tutorials, uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll be putting some more tutorials out for you. Thanks.